Hey guys, we're going to talk to you about Garden Grocer, which is a grocery delivery service that delivers to the Walt Disney World Resort Hotels. Mm -hmm. And um, they may also deliver to other locations, but we're just focusing on Walt Disney World. Um, so we have used Garden Grocer many times now. I've lost mm -hmm. count. It's been so many. And we are not sponsored by them. We are not affiliated with them in any way. They don't even know we're making this video. This is just us sharing something that's worked well with, for us with you yeah. in case it helps you. I also want to mention there's tons of other delivery options out there. There's both services similar to theirs, but then there's also, also things like Prime Now. Safeway is the newest one. I think I'm just getting a lot of hype. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's lots of other options. We're not saying this is the only one, so please do your own it's research. It's just one we're used to, so well, it's the only switch. one we can. It's the only one we can vouch for yeah. as well. So let's dive right on in. Um, so as we mentioned, it's a grocery delivery service. So what that means is you go online, you go to their website, you create an account, and you select the groceries you want for your trip, mm -hmm. then you pay a fee, and then you basically have them delivered to your resort on the date of your choice. And it's that simple. Easy peasy. And so let's talk about when to get, when to buy your groceries preferably. So just like all other things, there's discounts if you do it far enough in advance. Yeah. And so at the 60 day mark, this is as of this recording, so please check their website, make sure it's still the same. As of this recording, it's at 60 days, 10% off. At 30 days, it's 7% off. So obviously, it's much to your advantage to at least book your groceries 30 days mm. in advance. And, you know, if you're going to Disney World, you've probably already made plans well before that because you're going to want to do that 60-day fast pass window. You've, you've planned two years ago. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, you know, put it in your calendar when you do your fast passes. The day before you do your fast passes, make sure you've got your groceries yep. ordered and then you'll get your 10% discount. I do want to mention, if you later decide to add on to your order, you can do that, but you will not get a discount, even if it's ahead of time yeah. like this. If you do an add-on, that's completely full price, basically. So the pricing, do we want to talk about the pricing? Let's talk about the pricing. So people always ask this. Yes, it is more expensive yeah. than a standard grocery store usually. I'm not. You could compare price to price, and one item like might double. be different. No, <laughs> it's no. It's not crazy. It's no, not at all. Maybe a buck here and there. It, it depends. Or it's even or less than that. I think yeah, it's, it's just a miss. tiny markup on most yeah. items, and it also depends on what grocery store you go to. If you go to an expensive grocery store, maybe about the same price. Yeah. Which grocery if, store do they shop at? I forget. It's it's a variety of things oh, because it? yeah, they carry things okay. from multiple. Places, oh, okay. and that's another thing I should mention. I even though we've never done this ourselves, I've heard you can make special requests. So even if they don't carry something, they can usually get it for you. You may have to pay more, but they can usually get it for you. So, so that's something to keep in mind. Like if you want something organic, or if you have special diets, something like that, keep yeah. that in mind. And also, I should say for special diets. I can't speak for all food allergies, but I know they have gluten-free items because mm -hmm. that affects yeah. me personally. So I do know they have that. Um, so on to the fee. On top of the cost of the groceries, they also charge a $14 delivery fee. However, if you spend $200 or more, they waive that fee. So that's, Which we never hit. <laughs> we never hit that because we usually go for a week and with only two of us. Yeah. And we a, also, family, a family of four easily hit that, right? Or if you're staying in a DVC room and you plan to cook a lot of your meals. We don't. True. We actually eat out most of the time we're at Disney. So yeah. we're mostly buying breakfast supplies and snacks and drinks. Yeah. That's, well, it's because where we're staying. It. We're not in a situation to cook, so... Right, yeah. right. So, yeah, but if you were staying, say, in a DVC one bedroom and up with a full kitchen yeah, and you're going to cook yeah. all your meals, you could easily hit $200. Um, so, on to the, how does the delivery work? So, when you check out, they ask you where you're staying and what delivery window you want. Sometimes you get an option of time. Sometimes you only get one window. And I've read, although I can't you know, say this firsthand, I've read that's actually restrictions placed by Disney World on them, not the other way around, meaning sometimes Walt Disney World says you can only come during this window, something like that. I guess it's spread out the traffic or something. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Um, because I've noticed at Boardwalk and Beach Club frequently, we only get one window, but at other resorts, we get multiple windows yeah. to choose from. But so you pick the time that you want your groceries delivered, but in all honesty, it doesn't really matter because the groceries don't go straight to your room. They go to Bell Services. Yep. 
And then when you get back to your room, you simply call Bell Services and they bring it up to your room. So you're notified by Garden Grocer, right, mm-hmm. when they're delivered. Yes. So that's how you know when to call Bell Services, Correct. Right? Okay. And I have gotten excellent communication from Garden Grocer. I, I can't say enough. I think they both text and email me. So yeah. you know when you get your groceries. Also, if you're worried about refrigerated items, Bell Services will put them in a refrigerator for you. Now, again, that's at the, the time of this recording. Yeah. Also, I've heard rumors that people have been charged for having them hold their groceries. That has never happened to us. I've heard Not this. Yet. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this rumor repeatedly, but it has never happened to us. I have a feeling that might be people who leave them there a few days. So you know? they'll refrigerate items that are originally refrigerated, perishable, like cheese, milk, well, that are perishable. That's the key so word. So like stuff like bottled water, they will not. Yeah, beer, they beer, will not. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's coming to you hot. <laughs> so it's only things that are perishable yeah. that, that would spoil. But they will refrigerate them for you at Bell Services, so you don't have to worry about that. And then alcohol is another thing I wanted to mention. So a lot of people love Prime now, but that's one of the things you cannot get from Prime now, right. and you can get from Garden Grocer. Obviously, they don't carry liquor, but they have both beer and wine. However, you will have to send them a copy. Like I'm talking about a you know scan and email a copy of your driver's license. Yeah. To prove that you're of legal drinking age, but otherwise it's pretty seamless. It's and easy. That's definitely a plus um, over like Prime Now and those type of services. Yeah. Um, so, anything else you can think of? I don't think so. It's... Well, I would like to say we've never had a problem. We have used them so many times, and we've the only issue we've ever had was with Bell Services misplacing yeah. stuff, meaning we've never had an issue with Garden Grocer. Yeah, I think even then, didn't we contact Garden Grocer? And they, and they, and they figured out what the issue and they was. Said, hey, we, yeah. Basically, in that case, Bell Services brought up all our non perishables and forgot our perishables, which were and refrigerated. Stuck in the and basically, that's where the food was. Yeah. So, but Gordon Grocer tracked it down for us, yeah. which so I great also customer service, wonderful uh, customer service. Yeah. Um, we feel like it's totally worth the slight markup on the groceries and the fourteen dollar fee. Yeah. We've even used them when we've had a rental car and we could have gone and gotten our own groceries. Mm-hmm. It's just so convenient because. To me, time is money when you're at Walt Disney World because you're paying a premium to go to Walt Disney World, let's be honest. And so a $14 fee did not have to spend probably at least two hours with traffic in that area to go to the grocery store. I think yeah. it's worth it. But, you know, you have to decide that for yourself. Yep, definitely. And like I said, also look at the other options out there. But we really like Garden Grocer. Is that about it? I think so. All right. Well, thanks for watching. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Until our next adventure.